the half-life of iodine-123 is 13.2 hours. What percentage of iodine-123 remains in a sample after one day? So, iodine-123 is a radioactive isotope. And we know that the decay of radioactive isotopes usually follow the first-order kinetics. So, the integrated rate law for a first-order reaction is ln of A is equal to ln of A0 minus Kt. A here is your final or your remaining concentration or final amount. A0 is your initial amount. K is rate constant. And P is time. When you read the problem, the problem does not give you the rate constant. Instead, it gives you the half-life of iodine-123. We know that half-life and rate constant for a first-order kinetics is related by the following formula. Rate constant is equal to ln of 2 divided by the half-life. So we can substitute this into the equation. So our equation becomes ln of A is equal to ln A0 minus K is equal to ln 2 over half-life times time. The question is asking for the remaining percentage or the final amount. So we are solving for A. Initially, when there is no decay yet, you have 100% of iodine-123. So your initial amount would be 100%. So it would be LN100 minus LN of 2 divided by half-life. Half-life is 13.2 hours times time. Time is one day, and one day is equivalent to how many hours? 24 hours. So times 24 hours. So if we solve for ln A, ln of A would be equal to 3.344902585. So that's ln of A. If you want to solve for A, you need to do E raised to ln of A. So E is your Euler's number. E raised to 3.344. 9.02585. So you plug this into your calculator, find the constant E. You can find that in your calculator. Raise to 3.344.902585. And that is equal to 28.4%. So the final amount of iodine-123 is 28.4%. 0.4% of its original amount. So this is the answer to the question.